This is the first fun collection video of 2017, and I apologize for the crappy quality. I'm trying to include all my phones, especially my main ones, so I have to use my tablet to record this, and my tablet has a freaking horrendous camera, so I apologize. In advance, here we have a Moto E first generation. The one I found in the Target bin works fully. I really like this phone. Here we have some track phone thing. I bought it for like 20 bucks. It's a. Oh, no, that's the one I bought for like 30 bucks. Ooh. I think this one's on. Hmm, not that bad. Here we have Samsung Galaxy Flight 2. When I found this, it worked, but it, it had like a passcode on it. And it doesn't run Android, so I can't reset it, and I don't know how. Like, I could get into the phone, but like, I couldn't open anything because everything required a password, so I'm like, this phone's probably not going to be worth anything. It's already like, beat up and shattered anyway, so I just. I smashed the screen off. I, if I plugged it in, it still might work. Don't know. Samsung Galaxy S4. Not much. Pretty good phone, but the battery, battery life is the biggest problem here. I'm pretty sure it's mine. The Verizon the Verizon S4 sucks, like, really bad. Like, you can't modify it at all, and the battery life sucks. I know someone that has a Sprint S4. Maybe I might trade it. I mean, it's in worse condition, though. It's better than this. I mean, this one's in pretty much perfect condition. And then this one is a 5S. It's iCloud locked, very unfortunately. It never was, and then it used to be. But I was stupid, and I reset it anyways. Got some 4S thing. Waiting for a jailbreak. I mean, there's not really much I can do with it right now. It's not really that good of a phone. I don't really need to use it. But when, hopefully, a jailbreak is released so I can. And so that some Samsung track phone that runs Android 4.3. If any of you want to see any of these phones in depth that I actually have a charger for, some of these I don't even have a charger for. But I'll see. If you want to see one of these phones more in depth, I can maybe do a review on it. Here we got this LG phone found in the Target bin. I found two of these in the Target bin. No, uh, yeah, it's not that good. I don't, I don't even have a charger for it. I, I also found two of the. Oh, freaking God, already. Would you stop? Alright, so found two of these. I smashed one because it was already destroyed. Like it, this thing was detached. Kind of like my Chromebook at my school. It's destroyed. Uh, and I broke it. Like I threw it at a rock and I finally broke it. It's demolished. This one I kept because it's in. This is on bad condition, but I don't even have a charger. The battery's somewhere. I don't know where though. Should work. I don't know though because I don't have a charger. Have some. Nothing really important to some track from flip phone. This is the same exact thing as that, except it has a cooler back cover. And nothing I said more. Samsung Galaxy S3. I really like the S3. It's one of my favorite Samsung Galaxy Samsung smartphones. If only I had like a modified one that I could actually get back to full stock. I kind of want to sell this one, and I also want to sell where is it? This. <laughs> Excuse if you can hear my dog barking, he's retarded. Anyways, got an iPod Touch, second generation, out of battery. And yeah. Uh, here's my iPhone 3GS. I got a new one. It's the white 16 gigabyte old boot ROM. But I can actually un I unlocked. I got iPad baseband, but I don't have a freaking T Mobile SIM card. And this is an ATT phone, obviously, because it's your only R4 ATT. So yeah, I need to get a T-Mobile SIM card. Alright. Okay, where are we on? Alright, this one. Samsung Galaxy Core Prime. It's shattered and it's frigged up. It's kind of, it's I think it's a little bent too. I can't tell. It's I got it for ten bucks though, and it works it works fine though. So what do you expect? It's kind of frigged up. Alright, where are we next? Okay, right here. LG Optimus Fuel. Oh wow, still has battery. That's impressive. Oh, I was about to die though. It works fine. P pretty good track phone for the time. It was made a couple years ago. 
Here we have a very crappy track on an LG Sunrise. I literally dropped it like, like on car. Well, it was on carpet, but I dropped it for like ten feet, and it's fine, obviously, because it's plastic. Anyways, we have this and the other phone I found in the Target phone bin. I started there's so much noise going around. Anyways, uh, I threw it around a little bit, and the screen's cracked, but it still works fine. I'm just turning this phone off. Hold on. They're turning off so you can't freaking disturb. Alright, I apologize for that. The LG Ally. Terrible phone. Two point two Android slow and crappy. This is the only Nokia brick phone or something close to that that I actually own. Cool, I don't have a charger, though, and I don't have a SIM card, so I can't use it. It's still cool to have in my collection, though. My dog really needs to shut the freak up. He's so annoying. And we have another Samsung track phone. I don't even know if you can hear my dog. Hopefully not. And we have an iPod Touch, 5th generation. A Nokia, well, there's just an iPod Touch 5th generation. There's nothing special about it. It's a red product, red one. This is the only my Windows phone that I own. It's the Microsoft Lumia 640, I think. Yeah, I'm sure that's correct. It's out of battery at the moment. Here we have, I feel okay, this is next in line. This is some track phone thing I own. Yeah, nothing special about that. iPhone 4, this is the first ever smartphone I've ever owned. When I, this is my first phone right here. I cracked the back of it, but I have a black back now. Cool. I dual booted it, but I can get iOS 6, but the Wi-Fi doesn't work for some weird reason. iPod Touch 4th generation, I got this at my school. Yeah. Has a frigged up back and a little bit of screen because the kid that had it had some weird case that scratched it up and messed it up. Here we have a Moto E, second generation. The one up there is a first generation. Oh yeah, I turned it off and it's making so much noise earlier. Oh well, that works. Here we have an LG Phoenix 2. Now, I don't think you've ever seen it. I tried to make unboxing, but the freaking failed because this piece of crap ran out of memory. It works. It's a really good phone. Come on. It's the touchscreen isn't that good, though. Not bad for so many bucks, I'd say. Next, we have the iPhone 2G. I don't, I don't ever use this. I, I'm going to keep it, though, even if it breaks. So it's, it's, this phone's definitely going to be worth some money someday. It already is a lot more expensive than it used to be. When I bought it, it was like 50 bucks. Now you can now these are like 100 to 150 dollars for like runs in these conditions. So cool. Samsung Galaxy S2. I bought it for 100 dollars. Kind of a rip off. I mean, this one's kind of messed up, anyways. I I don't know if it's the phone or the battery. It just randomly shuts off whenever it pleases, pretty much. I don't have the battery in it right now. It runs. Shall we? Either that or it's running a. Like a marshmallow ROM or something like that. I, I install a lot of custom ROMs on this phone. Because it's the international one, so why not? The reason I wanted the international one, because you can modify the freak out of them. Here we have an iPhone. Oh, frick, I cut myself. Well, not cut myself, but I got a little bit of glass on my finger. But, yeah, this freaked up. I dropped it even more, and it shattered the LCD even more, and it did that. It's fun. I'm probably going to sell it for, like, 40 bucks. I had some passcode in the Apple account on it, so not worth fixing. I can hopefully just sell it and buy a fully working one. Maybe with the leftover money with the, the S3 I get, because I can, because S3s are kind of cheap now. And last but not least, my crapple success. Uh, okay, primary phone. I got this case for it. I don't know if I ever, I if I showed it yet. Got the Apple Store. And I also need to work on a vlog. I have on here, like, it's a mini, mini vlog I've started. It's probably only going to be, like, two minutes, though. But my freaking editor isn't working, so I can't. 
that is my phone collection. The whole point of adding tablets because nobody cares about that stuff. I know this photo is like 10 minutes long and it's going to take an ages to upload. Alright. Peace.